Hello my beautiful creative people, this is Nairi from Creative Kingfisher. I've got my big dashboard here from the 18th to the 24th and I've got a really quirky little spread for you today guys because look what I have. I have some seagulls, yes. I'm well known for my seagull squawking in the background of my videos so I thought why not do a nice little seagully spread today. So I've gone ahead and very roughly cut out these uh, papers they are originally from one big piece of wrapping paper and they came out of this lovely big wrapping paper book which is so so pretty i mean could have gone for any one of those in there but i decided to concentrate on the seagulls i've then taken some papers from out of um this one which has some nautical stuff in it so i'll show you how i'm going to use that in a minute I'm also using possibly some Mojo Jojo blue boxes and possibly some boxes from um, different people such as Kel of a Plan and Anna Bean, Anna Bean and possibly some florals from Amber Plants a Day in the background. So that's enough about all that isn't it let's get cracking so i just going to quickly stick this down and then i will probably trim trim it nearer the end because we don't need to kind of get it exact just at the minute so just get it on at the moment uh here we go yeah so if you've not found me then um welcome please subscribe uh you don't need to do that right now you can see if you like my style and then subscribe but i'd love to have you on the channel with me and if you come back again and you're watching more of my video content and, and you're a good a good old faithful then well thank you guys you know how much I appreciate you now is that enough stickiness I don't know so we're going to get this on kind of as close as we can It's a bit shiny, so it could be challenging. We'll have to see. I don't think I've used wrapping paper before. I always use craft paper, but it'll be interesting to see if it comes out nice. So this is what I almost call like a, it's like a blackout spread, isn't it? But with paper. So, so what I'm doing is I'm recreating the design of the dashboard entirely because I'm literally covering up the whole thing. now. If you're new to it, you'd be like, well, why are you doing that? That's a really good question, um, to which I don't really have any answers, really. I think sometimes it's just nice to have a change, and I think that's pretty much all it is. There's no rhyme or reason to it, really. Um, okay, let's get this one in. I didn't use my paper cutter, just used scissors, so I don't suppose it's going to be... Uh-oh, okay. That's not perfect, but... It's okay guys, once it's decorated, we're, we're only going to see this as a design at the background anyway. So um, I'm not going to stress out and try and pull that up. Because I'll be here too long, I'll rip my planner, you know how it goes. So let's just not worry too much. Right. Okay, so as you can see on the back, well, do you know what? We can see on the back, let's just do it. Let's get my scissors. So I have just been for a massage because it was my one of my adult daughter's birthday coming up and that was her treat and so we um, had half an hour massage each. It's not something I do regularly but it is something I do from time to time and I think it was the best massage I've ever had. So okay i admit that might annoy me i might have to find some washi tape we'll see we'll see at the end if we feel like it looks like it needs some you know tlc so yeah amazing and they because sometimes when you go for a massage if you're not used to people kind of touching you almost you can be a bit tense can't you so um i lay down as soon as she started i knew it was going to be fine just fine Right, so I've got these craft papers, which I thought was very fitting for like, almost like a beach hut feel, the wooden planks and stuff. Yeah, so if you if you don't know me, then I'm in the UK, but I'm, I'm in a very beachy area, you know what I mean? So seagulls are everywhere. 
and um, we are covering up rather too many when I look at this. I may actually go down diagonally here. I'm going to keep that there because I want to put the days of the week on that. So let's fold this and go diagonally. Get it in. So my boys are doing a P sports day today. So just went ahead and kind of glued that um, without you on camera. So yes, they're having a sports day. So I'll put this. Story goes, um, can we get the uh, pea kit ready for tomorrow, everybody? Yeah, stuck on the computer, so I'm not convinced about this. I'd already said to my husband, they got everything ready for tomorrow. Yeah, they should have. Brilliant. So I say to one of them, right, go and get your pea kit, pea kit out then. So out comes this pea bag, and inside this pea bag is a pair of kind of fleecy tracksuit bottoms. So bearing in mind we're late 20 degrees centigrade. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but it's hot for us, right? It is hot. Stuffy hot. And I'm like, okay, that's interesting. Where are your shorts? I borrowed some from school, yeah, but where are yours? I don't know. The next thing that ensues is mum here or you might say mom, we say mum, pulling everything out of the drawer to try and find the shorts and not finding the shorts. So I'm a little bit suspicious because this particular son doesn't like showing his legs in any way. That's fine, I don't like showing mine, but you know, when it's part of the kit, it's part of the kit. This is this one from her collection of just functionals which they always are I know but this is the the rainbow box book if you've seen it I thought it was going to go for maybe the deeper oranges but then the pearls are quite nice because they don't compete with the seagulls this is where it's going to get difficult it's this one which matches the crabs or it's this one and you can't tell me guys because you mm. Do you know what? I'm going to go for Pell, but I wasn't going to. I'm going to go for Pell. So, eventually, about an hour later, we find the said shorts stuffed at the bottom of a drawer. No surprises there, really. Um, let's do this one here. I know you can see the print through the back, but I might just leave that one up for a floral. I'm not sure yet. Let's get another long box in. And let's do that one, say here. So I'm using the kind of edges as the guide, otherwise you end up with boxes just higgledy-piggledy all over the place, because it's almost impossible to kind of really match it up, to be fair. It's probably not completely right, but there we go. Okay, now I want something in the middle, which needs to be quite clever. So in the process of doing all this, out have come a lot of other pairs of shorts that have been kind of rejected. They were on the bed, or so I thought. Hmm, quite like that. So uh, obviously this is part of the dashboard where you kind of make notes and things and then this is the days of the week so I'm trying to replicate some of the space that I might have had if I'd not covered it sort of thing. Uh, maybe just do one in the middle like that. So over the other side I was thinking of a deeper blue. Let's get this one in. room that I have. OK, 
okay. So I'm not going to go like symmetrical here, only because I just feel like that might be a bit much. I'm just going to scatter them, but no, it's going to re represent the different days of the week. Maybe go there. And how are we doing? Yeah. And one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we need kind of one down here. Let's put Sunday's a bit of a bigger box, shall we? So, yes, after a whole hour of sweating to get these shorts ready, finally get him to agree that he's going to wear these shorts. He's not going to borrow anything from school because he doesn't need to because he has them, you know. So knowing that he has an issue showing his legs, thinking, well, I'll be fine with the other one, won't it? You know, he'll be ready. No. He has no shorts because his shorts that he was wearing were his football shorts, which he's given back to the football team, unbeknown to me, and he doesn't know where his school shorts are. So I kind of nearly blew a gasket, really. You know, it's very hard to stay patient in the heat and kind of uh, just take it, you know. I even sent the older one over to the shop, which is like five minutes away, to see if they had any and they didn't have any. So eventually we did find him a pair. They were a pair of his brothers, which his brother had conveniently taken off the bed and dumped in the wash, even though they were clean. So at the end of that, I said to my husband, I think I need to go and take a chill pill because I'm going to, oh, perfect. That makes it the luckiest spread in the world. I see how we can go with this. I did end up sticking that down in the end. I don't know. Oh yes. I think that's nice. I think I'll do the same on the other one. And I was, I'd already prepared the tea and I was going to cook it. So I'll be doing it because we do share it out. Like we do, we're not, we are these people who just, it's not, it's not for want of a better word, a woman's role to do the tea in our house. It's just anybody who's ready to do it kind of thing. And I was, but he'd been doing a little bit more than me during the day and I wanted to do it. Well, I was just laid out on the bed and trying to calm myself down. Okay, so that's nice. Um, but because I've used different colored boxes, I need to bring some orange in over here. I'm sure you can kind of see what I mean by that. Let's do this, yeah? So that's one story, and I'm sure more will come to mind shortly. I just wanna make sure we get this right. So I think some little squares would be nice. Bring on some other shape, I think. Do that. Just make sure that I don't go wonk wonks, as they say. There we go. Oh, I think maybe whiting out is gonna to have to happen because that is a really dark line on that one. See if we can do this and rip off stickers at the same time. There we go. So after my massage, then I took my daughter for a little spot of lunch. That was really nice. She is absolutely stunning. And she sat there with a plate of chips and chili. There she is, sat there, kind of like, not many pounds in weight, you know what I mean? And I have avocado on toast and um, poached egg, which I actually really enjoyed. But um, there lie, lies the difference, isn't it? When you're that age, you can kind of get away with eating stuff that uh, puts on weight for people like me right now. But it was lovely, we chatted away about different things and yesterday I spent a long time with my mum actually. I don't normally just sort of stop for lunch and stuff and just sit down and chat. And it was super hot anyway. Um, so kind of 
only went for a little while but stayed for quite a long while and I really enjoyed that time there. Normally when I see Harrods to kind of do something or we need to get something done. So that was that was lovely. And um, I think I've seen the benefit recently of no not doing that of taking a bit of time out just reposition that one i did it out for you because i don't want to keep you too long okay so now that one more square yeah it's, it's um it's important to get the breaks isn't it and the self-care but i'm i'm a bit of a i don't i don't think i'm a workaholic because like i don't i don't keep going all day like in the evenings i'm just like a I'm just like a blob that doesn't move, you know? So I don't feel like I have to be nervous energy on the go all the time, but I like to push myself from a learning and achievement point of view. So I I don't let, as my mum says, I don't let the grass grow under my feet. It's the way she puts it. I like to be doing something, you know, different things. So sometimes just stopping and being with people is really lovely. So I have this one, this is a Cheerful Seasons book and I really like some of the images in here. So I'm going to put some of them in and then I think florals will probably have to happen as well. Let's get that sandcastle in the bottom. Kind of very fitting isn't it? Ooh. And the anchor definitely, it's going to go in there. Dashboard is always tricky, I think. Like to make a dashboard look really nice, I do think you need to have um, this is a big dashboard, a, a good number of stickers going on. Um, unless, of course, you're very much a journaling sort of person and you need the space. But other than that, it can look a little bit lost. Um, it can look a little bit um, bare, sort of thing. And so I've learned that. You can have these smaller stickers, but these don't work well unless you have bigger ones on the side when it's a big dashboard kind of thing. So that is nice, do you think? Um, I feel like, I, you know, it'd be nice to shove a seagull somewhere, wouldn't it? I can hear them squawking away. I'm surprised I haven't had one fly through the window and join me. One day that's going to happen, isn't it? So that's finished, not finished it, but made it look really nice. But obviously over here, I think, I don't know whether I could, these little waves could do something. I've got some washi and I haven't made a decision on that yet. So washi could be my next option. I'll show you what I'm gonna do. It always goes down quicker than you want it to. Okay, the waves are something or nothing, aren't they? Aren't really. Okay, so I've got this washi. So that what this washi could do is bring the, the spread together really well because if you add it on both sides, it just makes it feel kind of more like it belongs, if you see what I mean. So I'm just gonna pop that on there like that. I want it to go right the way across. but I will cut it before I get to the other side because that'll be a lot easier. Down the middle, like so. So what's happening for the rest of the day? Not a lot really, thankfully. Hopefully we won't have any uh, meltdowns from one of the boys, because that does happen. And hopefully we'll have a nice quiet evening. And guess what's happening tomorrow, guys? If some of you are still watching, then you're probably my die-hard fans. Or if you, you aren't, you, you maybe you're going to become it because you're still watching. I've got my designer coming tomorrow. And I hope to goodness, I pray, so please send up one for me, that she will come having used the paintings I've done already. Which are quite a few. I mean, there's at least 25 maybe 30 paintings and actually laid those out in the form of a sticker book so that she can tell me how many more I need to do because now because I don't actually know I'm more than happy to do some more paintings but I just 
don't want to be churning them out more than what we need for this book because I hope that if this is a success I'll do another book of course and start on a new theme and some new ideas so I don't want to be um, keeping on painting in the themes that I'm doing at the moment when the next book is likely to be a slightly different theme so as I say send up some prayers for me that this will actually move it forward quite a bit because I, I really want to see what she's in a way capable of in a way and um, I hope I think that's nice there I think the kids might be back so that'll be fun um, I think I can hear some movement so when the children come back from home, the dog loves them so much, he goes mental. He prances around the place, does all sorts of things. And it's so, so sweet. It's probably because he knows they're gonna then take, take him out for a walk, of course, it's, you know. Purely selfish reasons, I'm sure, as dogs do. But um, he loves them and sometimes he mopes around by the front door waiting for them. And if he's in a really bad mood, he gets hold of the rug and sort of scrunches up into a big ball and just looks at me as if to say, well, I can't help it, I'm depressed. <laughs> right, I'm sorry if at any point during the video when I was getting excited with the boxes, the top got lost on you, but now you can see it. Now, I definitely feel like I'm gonna be adding some sort of box here and here, although I do like those, so. It's tricky because I know I will write in these boxes. How, really, however many I put in, I probably will write in them. But I don't want to take away from that backdrop of the seagulls too much because it would be a bit of a shame. I think that's nice and let's just have two little ones as well. Yeah, I'm really roasting in here. This is, I have the most adorable little craft room. It's tiny, but it works for me. I've got all my planners behind me. Everything's within reach. You know, it is small, but it's perfectly formed. <laughs> perfectly formed I don't need it to be any bigger maybe I'll grow out of it one day but I don't need it to be any bigger but it's at the back of the house which again suits me it's quieter apart from the seagulls um, but it gets super hot super hot um, if the sun is shining mm. I'm not gonna say that up by those seagulls works for these yellows either so let me put these in And then let me think what do I do there guys nothing so still to do is to put the days of the week on here just like to shut the window because also you can hear them um, so my oldest son's come back and said he lost all the tug of wars but it was girls fault because they didn't put enough effort, enough effort in <laughs> oh gosh do you just love them Monday Tuesday. Is there a favourite day of the week that you like to watch planners? I mean a lot of you watch whenever you want to. I appreciate this. Whoever you want to, whenever you want to, as much as you want to. And that's great news to me because that means you're all addicted to planning and stickers. <clears throat> but um, is there a particular day that you tend to settle down more and watch more than what you normally do? Or is it down to how much you can get your hands on, you know? Um, I would be very interested to know. Friday. I think for me, I tend to binge watch a little bit more in the evenings if I haven't got anything to watch. But 
I would say I probably watch more either at the beginning of the week and the end of the week than I do in the middle. But I think, I think so, like I'm not sure. I think that stands out really well, pops really well, doesn't it? And it's finishing it off really well, but I need a couple of floors on this side. Righty, so um, I've left it to the end of the video to mention this, but if you haven't seen this already, and you feel that you could do you could do it or you would enjoy it then Donna Smith Wilson has got a Patreon now she set it up really lovely and um, she has an offer on I think I don't know how long for I think it might be till the end of August so apologies Donna if I'm getting this wrong but it is to have a spread done for you and for you to request what you want and have it mailed to you so I have said to Donna she doesn't need to mail mine. I, re I really don't expect her to, but having a spread done for me, I'll love it. As I did my birthday one. It was fabulous. A fabulous experience having a spread done for me. I loved it. So if you like that idea, maybe you've seen other planners do do this sort of thing, I can assure you that Donna's prices are, they're too low, Donna. I'm gonna say, it's just too reasonable in my opinion. But um, they are low, like you're not forking out much money. So go and check out Donna Smith Wilson's website if you haven't yet. Now then, I need to be a little bit careful. So I think I'm just gonna pop that one there. And I think that's enough of those. Is I'll link my dashboard playlist, big dashboard playlist at the end of this video for you. It's a long playlist, so maybe watch a couple and I will put something a bit different in as well. How about I link my one of my face plan videos just so you can see a very different, more functional type of video and then see if you like me. If you've enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. If you already like me, subscribe and I will see you on Creative Kingfisher. Thank you.